Howdy, lovely humans. Throughout the new 2024 Alone in the Dark game, set in 1930 New Orleans, Louisiana, we find many products in the game. Here are five in-game items from Alone in the Dark. But are they real? or fabricated, and how many can you guess correctly? Minor itty bitty <gasps> spoilers ahead for non-plot relevant Phew. items. I imagine that's not an issue since you've clicked onto this video. First up, Amazing Stories Magazine. I first found this a ways into the game on a bedside table. This science fiction magazine is absolutely a real life product. This specific issue was actually the first ever issue and was published in April of 1926. Amazing Stories is still in production today. This issue in particular featured stories from H.G. Wells, Jules Verne, and Edgar Allan Poe. An absolute powerhouse of literary excellence. One might even say, amazing. Next, the clip-on flashlight that you find right away as Emily has a great vintage style. This product is a little of column A and a little of column B. While I couldn't find an exact one-to-one -one example of a commercially available product, there are absolutely multiple models from around the World War I era that are extremely similar in design. Here are just a few of them. From the British Orlux Officer's Torch, the Beacon Electric Works, and a few others of similar make, this is definitely an example of the team taking a few creative liberties with the design. How enlightening! And third, in the same room you find Amazing Stories magazine, you can find an issue of Weird Tales. Weirdly enough, a real magazine. It was a horror and fantasy pulp magazine that ran from 1922 to 1924, and this issue was released in September of 1928, featuring a cover highlighting the devil plant. You'd probably have a devil of a time getting your hands on this original issue. Now, we have a streetcar ticket you may come across in the game. Once again, we encounter a gray area. While this ticket matches the style of the time, it looks to be yet another creative license choice. Here, we can actually see an example of a streetcar ticket from around 1911 for the Spanish Ford Amusement Park on Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans. And here, is the in-game streetcar ticket. Hmm, I wonder what a 1911 amusement park would look like. Oh wait, we've got the internet. Through the magic of editing, I bring you the Spanish Ford amusement park. Take a trip on down to Pontchartrain Town. Do, 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 do. Looks like a lot of walking, talking, and eating. I'd be down. And finally, all laundry detergent. You first discover this in the laundry room among the other nameless washing powder boxes. This packaging is on point. However, this edition is absolutely a red herring. The all washing powder is anachronistic, meaning it wasn't even yet invented in 1930. All laundry detergent made by German company Henkel was created in 1959. Normally, the story would stop there, but the interesting thing is that Henkel was the original creator of the modern day powdered laundry detergent versus previously pulverized soap. Henkel created Purcell back in 1907, the first product of its kind. So while laundry detergent certainly existed in the world at that time, you'd have been far more likely to find Purcell. In 1922, Henkel started a new ad campaign featuring a lady dressed all in white and wearing a Florentine hat. The ad looks remarkably like an older version of Grace Saunders, from the hat to the hair. My headcanon is that was her mother. Unlikely, but a fun fan theory, if you will. There we go, five in-game items from the latest Alone in the Dark game. Were you able to guess which were real and which were fiction? Did I miss any that you think I should have included? Let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll have to revisit this topic in the future. And if you would, help me defeat the algorithm by liking and subscribing if you think I've earned it. And until next time, I'll holler at y'all later.